What's up, everyone? Can you hear me? Let me know in chat, please. Sorry, a few minutes late this morning. A few technical difficulties. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> Where's everyone joining me from this morning? We're going to get right into some scans here, plans. We're actually doing a live trading webinar this morning for y'all. Um, Smash that like. We're going to get a little down and dirty here. Still working the small account challenge right now. Still working the 30-day free mentorship right now. I think we're on day 14. Um, a lot of stuff going on. We'll get into it. All right. Um, quick housekeeping. If you don't know about it, I'm running. I'm teaching everyone for free for the whole month of April. And it's all on the site, and it's going to be free forever. So, I mean, if you're late, it's all right. It's no big deal. Um, the live webinars from the last few weeks are on your free page, okay? We're talking free, not like uh, no credit cards, no nothing, okay? Mm. Today, we'll be giving away the guide for free as well as part of this, okay? As part of this um, program that I'm running. One second. Okay, um, let's see here. Anyways, link, link to join is right below the video here if you wanna join the, up with the free 30-day mentorship. Uh, you get into the free Discord as well. Bunch of stuff, it's pretty cool, okay? I'm doing free watch lists every morning for y'all. Everything, all right, get in there. Let's get into the scans this morning, okay? What's going on this week? Well, I'm up a few grand at the moment. Um, locked in 2,000 and change on Indo's push yesterday, okay? Big deal is, the big deal right now uh, is this Israel-Iran thing, right? That's the big deal right now, um, is that Iran launched a bunch of uh, drone missiles, at Israel in response to some other thing that Israel hit, and now Israel's wants to respond to Iran, and we're seeing, uh, and we saw oil stocks move because of that. Oil stocks such as Indo, okay? Indo, the last time Indo moved, right? Look at this move, not a small move, nice move. A two to 675 yesterday, all right? Um, last time Indo moved, massive run right massive run but that was uh when russia invaded ukraine okay so here's the really most the most important part of this sector I've traded it several times so many times over the years i traded oil stocks over and over and over again over the years all right the most important part of this is what is happening with the price of oil at the end of the day okay if the price of oil collapses they'll collapse if price of oil keeps going up they'll keep going up. So we're talking Indo, um, TPET was one, right? TPET. Um, you can see this one's gone from fricking seven cents. It's 70 cents yesterday, 10X, it 10 x all right? So kind of interesting, nothing, um, you know, no response yet. 
no response yet. You know, I think the U.S. is trying to get Israel to who knows what the fuck they're doing, to be honest. You know, whatever they're saying and whatever they're doing are not necessarily one and the same. <laughs> so at the end of the day, who really cares? It's just what are the stocks doing? OK. <clears throat> so U.S. oil, that's what I've been watching. I've been watching freaking oil futures, you know, for the most part, crude specifically. My trade yesterday was based off of that. Okay, if you look at what happened, and I explained this in the free webinars, uh, free pre-market preps for um, the mentorship that we've been running, but if we get to a minute level, right? Here's 4 a.m. yesterday. Here's 4 a.m. yesterday. And then if you look at Indo, that's 4 a.m. yesterday, right? Clearly moving with oil like, like it has been. I took some shares here. I didn't trade it all the way up until right in here. I had 430 average, 43763. I still have 2,300 shares left, all right? I had 4,000 share, 4,500 shares. Um, I'm sorry, and I've got uh, 2,500 left, okay? Plan is just to kind of see if it's going to hold up today. It's gapping down for now. It was red yesterday too. If you look, it was red yesterday and then pushed. Right now, it's going to be gapping down again this morning. Pretty decently, pretty decent gap down too, right? 530s. Um, risk for me on the rest of these shares essentially is going to be $5, okay? This area right here. And I'll lock the rest of my shares in, but I'm still up a couple grand on those. Um, the other one was Hub C, an Israeli cybersecurity. And I just like the breakout chart here. I don't, those who know me know I'm not a fan of breakouts unless there is some sort of macro behind it for me to get behind. I know these guys are garbage. Last time they broke out, broke out was here and they fucked everyone, right? They did an offering. Um, sorry. Um, the one I remember was back. Hub C was back here. Okay. Anyways, oh no, it was here. It was here, I'm sorry. And then they did a split. These, they started popping during the Hamas thing. That's what, that's what Hub C was. This was during the initial, this is right when the Hamas thing happened, okay? This is now, right? Now that there's Iran, so. I don't trust them, but I still have some long. Trading the breakout, essentially. Let me get the chat up. Sorry, y'all. I haven't had my chat up, so I can't see you. Ah, oh, fucking A. I'm such an idiot. My bad, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. uh, there you go. Thank you, guys. Good, good. Got my charts now? <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to drive engagement. That's all. I was just trying to drive engagement. You know, the algorithms and shit, YouTube and all these AI algorithms we're trying to uh, do whatever with. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. Hub C uh, during Hamas, Hub C now working on the breakout. I've got them here. Um, Indo, sorry, we'll get back. We'll get back to these charts this is back when indo went from uh to 90 that was when russia invaded ukraine in 2022 i made so much money from that um a couple grand locked in yesterday on this move here's the pool got to do this fast so we can get to today's tickers i was grabbing it in here yesterday afternoon i had 4000 shares in my big account 500 in a smaller account uh i took off i'm sorry I had half of it risking 430, so kind of an arbitrary level, but half of it there and half of it risking lots 410 area. None and neither stop got hit and it pretty much immediately spiked, right? I sold some into high a day yesterday because that's my, that's my job is to sell some into highs. I sold some here when it was breaking out of highs. I sold some into the breakout, in other words, yesterday too. So that's the idea for me, right? Get a sweet entry, sell into previous resistance, lock it in, buy my patience, live to, live 
have shares for today. I still have shares for today, you know? And, and as of right now, right? As of right now, it's caught at like the patience has cost me. That's the game. Okay, that's the game. I also could have woken up to this gapping up to $10, right? That's the risk reward. But this trade's in the green no matter what for me, right? It's a good trade no matter. To me, it's perfect, exactly what I would do 100 times out of 100, okay? Does that make sense? Let me know in chat, please. Normally, we just do pre-market prep for y'all on YouTube, but since I'm running this free 30-day mentorship anyways, fuck it. Uh, you want me to go live? We're going to trade live this morning, okay? We're going to trade live. We're gonna do a full live masterclass for you. Q&A and everything, how's that sound? Smash the like if that sounds fun. Sounds good. Not only that, we're trading this account, right? This is a account that I started with $3,000 and I've got three trades on, okay? Nice, let's fucking go. Use my French, my, my Francais. Um, anyways, I'm, this, is a, this is an account uh, that I just started, $3,000 doing a small account challenge. I haven't traded this ever, basically, right? Since I first, 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 first started. <laughs> so it's interesting. It's already been adjustment, adjusting to the size of it, okay? Um, but I'm trading every single trade on this account live for my students so they can see me grow a small account. Um, and so they don't use this PDT thing as such an excuse, right? It's also for all you guys and gals who are like trying to get funded for some reason to go trade futures or do something like that. I, I get it. Listen, when I started, that shit was around too, right? The offshore, get funded shit it's always been a scam y'all it's always been it's always prayed to the fact that you think you just need more money you don't in fact the opposite feel me anyways i bought some i sold some i have some very simple let's get into the, today's tickers because we don't have that much time uh scanning right scanning it's a big deal but it's also not people will try to sell you a bunch of nonsense um i just scan for everything the only thing i have to do to get rid of tickers is add volume. That's it, right? I know the floats, generally speaking here, are not gonna be the most accurate, all right? I'm looking for PRs, I'm looking for volume, specifically for myself, dollar volume is the metric I'm looking at. Okay, dollar volume, this column here. Why dollar volume? Well, a million shares of a, a stock that's five cents is not that much money. A million, I, I take million share positions of five cent stocks. A million shares of a $10 stock, $10 million, it's different, okay? All right, so here's our top percent gainers this morning. How much time do we have? Again, if you wanna join the free mentorship at any point, which I'm running throughout the month, and then I'm gonna do free watch lists forever, I think. I think that's the goal, is to just literally give you guys free watch lists. So for those who don't wanna be in the pack or don't want mentorship, I don't care. You know, I'd like to provide value to all of you as much as I can throughout the rest of the year. So that's my goal. Um, PALI, top percent gainer, uh, catalyst. It's not going to pop up for you guys. Ulcerative colitis. Uh, DYNT, I'm just going to go through the list, see if I can't see any patterns. Some low floats going on. WISA, I know I've traded them plenty of times. Chinese educational company. They've got a PR. Um, PRSO has got a PR, lower float, MCPC, JAGX, piece of shit, but they've got a uh, PR, it looks like, BTTR. Names and names, I can see, Dragonfly Energy Holdings. Okay. Shit, five minutes till the market open, y'all. Hey, good thing we're gonna be live together, right? P-A-L-I, uh, tough, right? Tough, super duper extended, okay? For me. It doesn't mean it can't run. It net, oh, it's a fucking pump, damn shit. The reverse split pump, the greatest strategy uh, I've ever created, okay? 
the greatest swing trading strategy in small cap. The only strategy that I've ever developed where I am predicting PRs, where I'm literally Martha Stewart, okay? I haven't hit any for a few months personally, but at the end of last year specifically, I, you know, over six figures the last month or two months on this setup. So very, very important to understand. They did a split one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days ago, six days ago, they did a reverse split one for 15. Every 15 shares became one, right? We always talk about it. Divide the, vol uh, divide the volume by 15, right? Multiply the price by 15. Divide the shares by 15, right? It's like 10 $1 bills, one $10 bill swapped. Less bills, same amount of money though. Same market cap, okay? They do that because under a dollar, they have to maintain compliance, right? Under a dollar, NASDAQ will delist them. They get a letter saying, hey, you gotta do something about this. They say, oh, okay, let's do this stupid math thing and fuck everyone. They do a reverse split. They start fading, they gotta hold, for 10 days after that, they gotta hold a dollar. If that doesn't work, I'm sorry. Um, at some point, generally speaking, if they're fading, especially, they're gonna put out a pump. They're gonna PR it, right? And that's what they did. They put out a PR today. That PR is that they successfully demonstrated bioactivation of this. And they're also like, they put a PR out, y'all. This is a reverse split pump. It's the best swing straight trading strategy in small cap, period. Long, okay? Reverse split pump, get it in your, to your dialogue. Remind me later, remind me later, I'll show you how I find them and, and we'll talk a little bit about the strategy. How do I trade it today? Well, my edge is gone, y'all, right? It just is, the edge is gone. Now, what, like, obviously loading it illiquidly, yeah, that's what I do. Would I have loaded this one? Not necessarily, okay? Will I be looking at splits today and looking to load some for the rest of the week and possibly next week? Yes, I'll do that too, okay? What do I see here in terms of if I'm gonna trade it? Seven, you know, this, there, there's just nothing, right? It went straight in four minutes from four to seven. So it's, it's a tough call from a risk reward standpoint. The ones that have been really strong have held up and squeezed. If you go through the different time frames, you know, eight, you've got this eight area too, I guess, is like little area of support. Um, Pre-market highs is always a target for me. So is the juice worth the squeeze up here? I, it's hard to, it's not for me, right? It's just too risky. If I'm gonna trade it, it's got to drop and I gotta be really careful with it, that's all. So much downside, doesn't mean it can't squeeze. Just means, can I find great risk reward? Do I have edge? Do I have edge? And then if I, and then if I feel like I wanna trade it anyways, or it's gonna set up for me on a level that I like and I'm watching and the price action, everything looks good, I have to control it. Does that make sense? Thoughts on pumpers like Zach. I'm gonna talk all about it. Talk all about uh, Morris and those guys. I have a lot of opinions about it. I'm gonna speak all about it today, okay? We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about some strategies. We're gonna talk about scanning, small account trading, PDT, which I'm not under. This is a cash account and I'm loving the cash account, okay? Every, first of all, pump, 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 pump. Everything's pumped, y'all. Understand everything's a pump these days. Everyone's a pump. Every, look at this. We got a room full of people here watching tickers. This is a pump. That's a pump. That, I don't personally pump shit, but everything's being pumped. If there's groups of people watching tickers. Everything's being pumped. So all the, it's a chat pump. It's, everything's a fucking chat pump. Understand that, right? Okay. <clears throat> P-A-L-I. Yeah, like I said, tough one, okay? Um. Cool thing about my trading style is generally speaking, I'm not taking entries within the first five minutes, generally speaking. So I don't have to worry too much about this. I can keep doing my DD even since, even as the market is open. DYNT, Dynamatronics, there were some form fours on April 3rd. I don't see anything for them. I don't see any actual PRs on their part. Was there a patent or something? Maybe there was a patent that I haven't seen. That's, the, that's kind of been one of the catalysts where if they pop after hours like this, I just haven't seen the catalysts, right? Uh, for DYNT, my only entry idea is right here, right? This last bit of risk area to me would be this 50 cent range right here. Okay. 
Um, put them on the back burner real quick. What's Crude doing? Crude's little pop. I would love to see them rip. Not that, whatever. I don't want war and shit, but I mean, there's war everywhere right now. Not get it twisted. What the world is. Um, uh, let's fucking go. Market's open, y'all. Market is open. We didn't get to do a full pre-market prep properly. All right. PRSO. 1.8 in the float. We're going to have to uh, cross-reference that for sure. Sorry, I wasn't on my charts again. And then my fucking idiot. Uh, 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 uh. Here's that area I was talking about on uh, DYNT. Okay. Area here. Okay. Pretty much is eight. New high a day, okay? This is where everyone buys. We always talk about this, right? Always, always, always talk about this on DYNT right now. Or I'm sorry, on PALI, right? We call this person Billy at the end of the day, okay? We call him Billy. He's like an idiot, pretty much, okay? But it's what I used to do. It's what I used to do, which is buy this. this I was so excited to buy this shit, y'all. So excited to buy this. This is the worst possible entry in all of stock trading for me, right? High a day, intraday, high a day breaks, okay? Intraday high a day breaks. Ah, there we go. Now I've got the chat here. Ah, there we go. Much better. All right. Anyways, this is like, it's going up. It's going to keep going up sort of idea, right? It's fucking doesn't, I did it for so long. And I have students who do this for years and years and years before they get to me, you know? The risk reward is so twisted, is in other words, right? There actually is no risk reward is the problem. The problem is there's actually no reward. It's just risk the way I look at it, okay? Really, really key that you understand this. Is that when I'm, if you're buying up here, this is how I see it, right? Big, big deal. This is such a big deal, y'all. All right. Here's high a day for now. Here's your high day break where everyone buys it, right? Here's Billy. He buys it here. This is exactly how I picture this trade. Y'all see? Let me know in chat, please. Smash the like. Smash that like if you're like, oh God. I've never seen it like that. Even right now, this guy's shitting himself. And the problem is, is that you just have, we got shorts that just stepped in, right? Literally shorts right here are like rain and shorts, right? That makes sense? And Billy's like, fuck, man. You know, like that's how trading is for, for most new traders. And, and then you say small caps a scam. Like, no, you buy shit too high. The game is buy low, sell high. The game is buy low, sell high. It's not buy high, sell low, or buy high, sell higher. If you're buying high, sell higher, of course, okay? But if not, don't be an idiot. You know what I mean? Anyways, so where, where does that leave us then if I'm not buying it? stocks up here right what the hell are you doing then support y'all 
And there's way more to it, obviously, than that. But my trades end up looking like this, okay? My trades end up, if this does what I want it to do in the morning, it kind of pulls and maybe this happens, right? Billy's trap, shorts are in. Now I know Billy's trap and shorts are in, right? When it does this, I know shorts are in. Now, if it holds, that's fine, right? It's a morning spike pattern technically. I would, you know, if it's gonna stay strong, it's gotta hold lows. If not, this person panics, this person panics. New shorts are gonna step in right here, right? Billy panics through low a day, etc. For me, the trades have to look like this, y'all. See BWAP right there? That's a good trade to me. That's a very, very controlled trade to me. One to six, one to seven. If I can nail entry, one to eight, one to 10, et cetera, right? That becomes the game. But, so that would be price target one. Price target two is basically pre-market highs and high day again, right? Basically high day at this point. So if I get high day, which would be price target two, I can get one to 10 with the $7 entry, you know? That's the idea for me. The overarching idea on the trades. Same with this, DYNT, right? Sorry, same with DYNT. Okay. Same idea. Good trade's gonna look something like this. Right? There's VWAP overhead, but here's high a day where it opened. That becomes important to me. So I want to get five to one, four to one, three to one on my first price target. Does that make sense? Let me know in chat if this makes sense, y'all. Or if I'm just over here spinning my wheels by myself. Big crack on endo there, for sure. Big crack on endo. See that? Did you see what just happened on Pallet, y'all? I believe they're halted down, okay? I believe they're halted down, and this person's so fucked every time, every fucking time, right? I don't, I do this so much, you know? I'm here to save this person. I'm here right now, specifically on YouTube, to save you if you keep doing this shit. That's what I'm here for. If you do this, you'll never be good at trading. Long, small cap, or anything, really. Because you have no process. You have no edge there. You have the exact opposite of edge, okay? Why? Most of these small cap companies are small cap because they have no money. Most of these small cap companies are small cap because they're fundamentally have no money, <laughs> right? They're shitty fundamental, uh, fundamentally. The fundamentals are bad. Earnings are bad. They don't make money. They have no cash. They need cash. How do they get it from you fuckers who buy it up there? That's how they get money. And from the short sellers who are being squeezed. You have to understand, it's not just Billy buying there. It's everyone who was shorting prior to that using the pre-market high as risk. Right? Remember that concept I was telling you about just five seconds ago? That how I see this trade is literally like this. Right? Or at least to one of these levels, right? To me, in my head, it's either going to be this or this, like, but it's going to test some levels. Does that make sense, everyone? Really hope it makes sense because it's fat. These are facts of life. I've been doing this for almost a decade now, right? I have nothing wrong. I have no. I have no problems with the newer traders getting in the game and the content creator. I mean, I have issues with everybody, but there are levels of the game, and there are reasons why people can't buy stocks, and there are reasons why you shouldn't be listening to most people. And if you're, if you have any guru whatsoever. Okay. Sorry, one second. Damn. 
got to check out U.S. oil and just control a position real fast. Hold on. Hmm. Was there news? Was there news maybe? That's the other, so the other issue with playing Israel-Iran stocks is Israel could say, we're not going to attack, we're not going to attack them, right? For now, Israel's vowing to do it. So... Is there news? Someone let me know in chat, maybe. I just want to make sure. If something fundamentally changes with the war or something, I got to know, right? And make some moves. Luckily, damn. One second. Mm -mm. Okay, Pally is halted us oil is holding up but we've got um pally he's pulling a bit oh shit okay but, uh, ah fucking wisa i uh, didn't really get to any of the levels that i would hit anyways on that reversal this, the reversals, and they come, and listen, man, the patterns, the strategies, the setups, they ebb and flow. But lately, the stronger reversals in the morning have just come really early. One, two, three. This wasn't too bad. Five, six, seven. Now the reverse split pump. Damn, huh? Damn, they split yesterday, too. That was on my watch list yesterday. That's why I was so familiar in my head. Listen, guys, I just talked about it, right? Listen, they did their, their pump the next day. Reverse split day one. Look, same thing. If, you just, if you're just getting here, make sure to rewatch this whole webinar because I talk about what this is earlier in it. One for 150 reverse split, okay? Just on the 15th. So yesterday they did one for 150, okay? That means they were at two cents yesterday, y'all. Two cents. They were a two penny stock, listed stock, Chinese educational company. Today they PR'd. Okay. Today they PR'd this bullshit. Look at that. 8 45 Eastern, 7 45 a.m. Eastern. They inked their fourth license with something bullshit, right? And this is what you have to understand. One of the biggest lessons that you can ever learn in small cap is don't. Get married to the PRs. Don't let the PRs get you jazzed like, oh, this company is amazing. Don't fall in love with anything. Don't overstay your welcome anywhere. It's all designed to steal money from you. It's all designed to steal money from you. In fact, everything in stock trading <laughs> is designed to steal money from retail traders. I'm not even just talking about the markets. I'm not talking about the market makers uh, solely. I'm not talking about the algorithm solely which th their job is also to take money from you. Um, I'm talking about the companies that we trade, but they're also every single day, every single day. I've been doing this for 10 years. The top percent gainers are always small cap companies. Makes sense. They have the lowest floats, the smallest share structure. So the smallest amount of shares, okay? And they can move more freely. That's why they can panic really hard and they can run really hard, right? <clears throat> anyways so wisa another one another example right another example of of what we're dealing with they were two cents nasdaq said you got to do something about this they're like okay we're gonna do that thing where you know we do the split and then we pump and dump and fuck everyone and they're like oh great nasdaq's like have fun go at it Right? If this cycle didn't exist, listen, this is so important. If this cycle didn't exist, there'd be no small cap stocks. Get this through your heads. If this cycle did not exist, there'd be no small cap stocks. They would go down below a buck. They would get delisted and go to OTC. All of them, all of the tickers right here. Right? Let me know if that makes sense in chat. Please understand this. Please. This is the most important lesson 
that you can ever learn about stock trading, particularly small cap, but throughout the entire realm, okay? Market makers, algorithms, um, fellow traders, short sellers, right? They're all trying to steal money from you. Educators, YouTubers, right? Everyone's, everyone's fake as fuck. Everyone's, ugh. All right, let's not rant. Let's find a trade first before we start ranting. Just understand that, that that is the dynamic. The companies, the market makers, the investors, the institutional investors. It's all designed to take money from you. And it's all, and what do they prey on? Someone let me know in chat if they know what they're preying on. Right? Let me know what they're preying on. Here's a hint. <laughs> right? Should we take a look? Do you guys want to look uh, together? Let's look. Let's. I'll should give you proof, right? After I look through, let me look through some tickers really fast. Make sure there are no trades for me to have. Rush split NC and A this morning. Speaking of the devil. This is what they're taking advantage of. Yes, thank you. Perfect. This person and how excited they are to just get up and buy shit every morning. And look, and another very, very key part of this, look at this volume this morning. Every morning, the market open, bunch of idiots are gonna buy something. If I had shares to dump, that's where I would dump them. Remember this, someone has shares of this from way lower and probably millions of them or whatever to dump on you, which is gonna be the next part we talk about, which is why I use Dilution Tracker in the first place, okay? DT. Let's do some DD. All right. Dilution tracker. Um, I think I can have a link for it at the bottom under the, under my, you know, whatever in the description. Um, boom. Pally. Oh, not too bad. They've been way worse in the, in the past. 0.25 in warrants. They've got a price, an S1 price at 25 cents from June 22. They withdrew a 2023 offering. They've got a few warrants at 11. Okay. 227,000 warrants at 11. 37.50. It's not that bad. These guys aren't that bad right now, it looks like. They've unhalted. They're pulling now. We saw same deal here now, right? Awesome reversal there. Awesome. And I'm supposed to be selling. It makes trading way easier, by the way. If you can understand this dynamic that literally you were when when it does that, right? Sorry. That when it does this right here. Like literally this point of the chart right now, first of all, squeeze, right? Because this is shorts right here. And it pulls like that shorts and profit taking, all that good stuff. And squeeze. Okay? And every guru is like, buy, buy, buy at three, right? And they're all selling it at like 320 and 330 because they don't want to because they know they have to or it's not going to work. And then everyone else sells it and then short sellers sell, Okay. This is the entry, no matter what, I don't care what anyone says for me, this is the entry and you got to take some off at high a day. That's PT1 is here. PT2 is like this VWAP area. Sorry, PT1 when it's popping from here is the VWAP area and then high a day and then pre-market highs. 
That's all price targets hit. And then if I have shares left, then that's bonus. That's exactly how all my best trades and all my day one trades like this, where they're gapping day one, are going to look like that. Especially when, listen, listen, listen. Where it's a reverse split pump and the edge is still to get in before the PR if you can. These guys did it day two. You won't see me here on day two usually like that, you know. But they did do a split in the ones, right? They, can't, they don't want to drop too much. So interesting. I hope y'all are learning something this morning. We're going to open up for Q&A in a little bit here. Okay. Y'all enjoying, y'all enjoying the live masterclass? I'm trying to dust off this little 3K account right now. Anyways, I have a really hard time. Well, not a really hard time, but I just don't buy that, right? I have a really easy time. Anytime it gets through pre-market highs, and I'm not long, I throw a billy up and remind myself, that's why you're successful is because that's where you sell it. That's why you're successful is because that's where you sell it. That's why you're successful because that's where you sell it. Edge. Edge, 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 no 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 edge. Feel me? So all you who think like, oh, I'm buying here. Yeah, you still have no edge there. You're in fact, you're buying into resistance. Okay. I really hope it holds and rips. And there are there are, of course, exceptions to the rule. But as a general rule of thumb, I sell to you. If that's where you buy it, I'm selling to you. I I sell to you and I make money and you don't make money. Okay. We'll get into the, some more DD on, on some of these tickers and get into some dilution here in a second and then Q and a, um, Jagat's got a big old float, 10 cent stock. We've been seeing a lot of these. Breakout chart. Y'all know I'm not fond of breakouts. I hate them, to be honest. I hate trading them. I hate the risk reward that you get on them like so much most of the time. Yard and had a nice pull and a nice push so far, right? I didn't get to look at them. There's your... Uh, Nice push. And again, it's not that he can't make money ever and she can't make money ever doing that. I did it. I made some money sometimes doing it, right? It's that most of the time you don't. And if you're going to do it, you got to sit through stupid pools and the risk reward sucks. And if you're going to risk the breakout level of free market highs, you always almost get stopped out, okay? Just is what it is. <clears throat> but again, I, I always remind, even when they get strong, it's not that I'm immune from not feeling FOMO, y'all. I just have hacks for it. I have ways to deal with my truly just how human I am, okay? And that's what I try to transmit to my students. Allie at the last kind of ditch level for me right now.
like Pally has me interested in impossible scalp right now, you know. But, and I say scalp because still edge to me is yesterday or the day before on a swing. When I play the reverse split pump correctly, right? When I play this, when I'm loading these correctly on RS pumps, you wake up and you take profits, sometimes from bed, and you're up 100% or whatever. It's, it's the best strategy. I'm going to start um, pressing it a little bit because I've been seeing a lot of them lately. And that's the thing. It comes in and out of play. It's not just splits every day and trade every split. When I see splits on my scan, I'm trading splits. Okay. When I see energy stocks on my scan, I'm trading energy stocks. Keep it simple. I see some wheat stocks on my scan, right? It's an election year, so there's a lot of weird things going on right now. The 2023 U.S. investing champion won with only breakouts and small caps. Yeah, that's to me is bullshit. All those competitions are absolute nonsense. You know, trading's not, a, to me, it's not, it's not what it's about, you know? Um, and again, I'm not saying you can't trade breakouts if you don't want, but I'll continuously show you proof. And listen, the people who are good at trading breakouts, generally speaking, will have a, have a system for it, I guess you could say. Um, between December and now, breakouts have been somewhat fruitful on small caps, Okay. If you're seeing like an investing competition or something, it's just all social media bullshit, man. You know, it just is. I'm sorry. Is Powell speaking today or tomorrow? And what type of stocks does that affect? I'm not sure. When is Powell speaking next? It affects everything when that fucking guy speaks, you know? That's what it is. And a sketch on Pally, but they're actually not that dilutive, right? Look at, look, looky, looky, right? Shorts have stepped in now on Lisa over here. Look, I mean, how many times do I have to, I do this every day, you know. This is why I saw in these areas, even if it works later in the day, right? VWAP hold, fucking hate it. It's just so hit or miss, which I don't mind hit or miss. Okay, my all listen, I'm a dip buyer. I buy reversals and I try to find low a day a lot on day ones, especially, right? I'm a contrarian. I'm buying where everyone is scared to buy it. Okay, period. So I'm wrong a lot. I'm too early often. I'm too late often. Okay. It just, that's, that's, the, that's part of the game. But if that's going to be the case, if I'm playing hit or miss, if I'm playing and I need extreme risk reward, guys. It's math. It's fucking basic math, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what anyone says, man. Okay? Um, math. So, in other words, if I'm playing like VWAP hold, which I know is way hit or miss, well, the risk reward there is way worse than if I'm playing off low a day anyways, right? The whole, the biggest part of what I do about trying to nail morning dip buys like this, which would be like, to me, the most ideal looking one this morning, um, even PALI right now is kind of attractive to me, okay? That hold right there, this chart right here tells me if I'm short, maybe I don't think this is going down anymore right now. It's going to be popping soon, feel me? Could break down too, but... If I'm short and I look at these under the lens of I'm short, I look at when I'm trading, I look at under the lens of 
I'm short here. My risk is here. What does it look like for me? I should be taking some profits, right? Low a day snap there on that candle, you would think would, right? But it didn't. Price action aside. that idea right the problem is when i have the idea if it slips i don't trade it so like that's the problem i got to get great risk reward here right especially something like this that has seriously a buck two bucks downside on it still right big picture big picture can i trade it can i get up and walk away and come back tomorrow and be okay Ask yourself that when you're trading small cap, right? So I don't, um, trading tools or brokers I cannot integrate. Yeah, dilution tracker, it's not really, I don't use them for charting at all, so. All right. Again, if you guys are enjoying this, just make sure to smash the like for me. You know, it really helps out. Um, right under the video, there is a link for our free mentorship we're running throughout the month. Like super free guys, just free pre-market prep every day. Um, I did free power hour. Well, I've been doing free live trading webinars even like this, but um, we did free trader therapy last Friday. You know, um, I traded the oil stocks yesterday for free for everyone. Like, fucker. Yeah, I missed the dip buy here already in my eyes. I'm nitpicky, guys, with my trading. It just is what it is. I'm nitpicky, y'all. Why? Math. I don't care about the, this is what you have to understand. I don't care about the tickers. I don't care about the PRs. I care about making money. And I care about the math. Making my math work over time is going to make me money in small cap. They're the biggest percent gainers. And I need to take that much of them, right? The, the, the big thing for me, though, is like, y'all know how these trades feel, right? Even this, it feels uh, so crappy. And then if you win, you're lucky, right? So it's the opposite. It's a semblance of control that I get to trade from in areas like this, right? Super control. Like, I don't have to fight for shares when I'm trying to buy it. Right? It's coming to me. Everyone's scared anyways. Right? Like right there is probably where Max Payne was for this fucker. He's like, oh God. And he sees it panicking and gets out. That's like the, the end, right? And we'll keep watching this if it can base or not. Right now it's consolidating. 750, 680. It's a bit of range there, right? On PALI. On WISA, we've got a VWAP hold, which again, I'm going to go back to this principle of like... Where's the best risk reward on this chart? Where am I going to get the biggest bane for my buck on a piece of shit? And I see two things. I see this edge. This would be edge to me still from an entry standpoint. But then at the end of the day, I always have to zoom out and remember, damn, dude, but like someone had it there. Like there's that real edge where you actually wake up, like I said, and you're up 100%. You take a PR, right? So it's cool. But if this is you, you have to rethink everything you're doing, right? You have no process, right? You're the pawn. You get sold to, you're the pawn, okay? Damn. Uh, this is going to push to view app and I missed it. My eyes. And that's, that's the thing you have to understand. Like I don't, people can talk shit if, what, about trade frequency and stuff like that. I don't care. I'm nailing stuff or I'm not, I'm trading because they're fucking scams, dude. Like, understand what you're trading. Jesus, right? It's just, uh, yeah. Ben Twit and everyone just pumping everything and, like, thinks everything's going on the moon. It's just, like, so dumb. Idiots.
Questions. Start rocking questions. I'm going to go Q&A style. If I see a trade, I'm going to take it. Look at this. Don't look. Don't be this asshole. If I'm ever buying up there or in and around or even over VWAP, please understand this. If I'm buying it over VWAP, y'all, it's got to be towards the end of the day or midday. Like it's got to be, there's got to be more to the chart. I've got to see it ebb and flow for a while, consolidate, pull, push, do all the things it needs to do, higher lows. I am buying under VWAP 99% of the time. Does that make sense? I am buying under VWAP 99% of the time, y'all. VWAP becomes a target for me. It's PT1. Generally, VWAP. Uh, this is PT1. VWAP, right? I'd probably use eight bucks here as PT1, like 790s or 780s. And then, and then, and then VWAP and then high a day slash pre-market highs in the nines. I would use nine to hold half dollar levels. So that's the idea, okay? Does that make sense? Again, if you're just joining me, um, there is a link for 30-day mentorship that's free. Uh, right, Shmeow. Right, Shmeow. Got me? That's right. Behind my head right there, right, Shmeow. Um, and when you log in, you'll get all the live webinars. I'm actually adding. So each day is going to end up with some lessons and a little bit of commentary from me, right? Um, but you can see like what I've been doing just live for everyone for the last 14 days, right? Hour, 45 minutes, an hour, live trading, how to scan, how to do all these things. Um, if you missed it, we did Trader Therapy. It's on, it's on my YouTube. You can go to the videos there. We did that Friday. It's big time. There's a lot of gems in there, and I'd go watch that too. But um, here's your dashboard if you join up, right? We're pu putting watch lists out now um, for y'all to have. I think it goes to your email too. And then access to the chat, access to the Discord. Okay, enough of that. <clears throat> Someone asked earlier about uh, this cat and these guys. <clears throat> For those who don't know, if you're newer, because they've been gone for a little while, but this is, he's from Atlas, okay? Pally breakdown right now, all right? New low. So if this holds now, it's going to hold in somewhat of an arbitrary spot and it has to like do it itself, right? I mean, there's one low a day break, you know? I'm watching this. If I'm short, again, I get excited when this happens and then I get really not excited if it holds. You know what I mean? It's, what I'm trying to do is find this spot if there is going to be a spot where emotionally shorts get twisted, right? Um, and again, it comes down to this principle when I've set my levels of like getting good risk reward in the right spots. So getting good risk reward, even if this trade doesn't work for me all, right? That initial idea doesn't work like this happens and you cut, it's fine. It is what it is. It's a small loss, okay? Um, and you can re-enter if need be. But if you're trading areas like this, right? First of all, always less reward back to high a day if it's gonna work, you know, VWAP and stuff like that. And then just more downside if you're not controlling the trade. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of reasons that I do what I do. But going back to this cat, um, this is Atlas. You know, they had a huge, huge room back in 21 or 22 or whatever it was. They were very amusing. They had some phenomenal pumps, right? And um, then they all went to jail because the government cracked down on them pretty much is what happened. 
and then they beat the government because the, ca the case was shit, okay? I watch kids every day do what they were doing every day. Like since them, since them, it's just the world, okay? A bunch of pumpers everywhere. Um, they were just the biggest. They did really well in their pumps. And uh, that's it. Want to see something funny? <laughs> that's last night um i uh i have no hate for them to be honest the government found them innocent they're innocent that's i've always uh that's how i've always kind of operated right that being said they're selling you know he's going to be doing a telegram such as him that like their whole little gang um i don't i don't know if it's just him now or what he's doing i just don't know I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing a paid service now, essentially, right? His pump yesterday, his first pump back, he said he was going to pump. Look, let's go back. I'm just going to show you so you understand this. Yeah, I mean, he was back at it yesterday. But Cavill, okay? K-A-V-L. And he gave like a laundry list of reasons why. He was going to, that he liked it in the 275 range, which was low a day yesterday, right? <clears throat> Here's where he alerted it on Twitter. It went straight from three to 10, right? He, I think he knows that they'll lose efficacy just like they did last time, right? Last time CEI was like their best pump and then it stopped. So I think he's just trying to take advantage of everything now and we'll see what happens you know fun times new players um i do i wish no one to be arrested by for the most part you know like the government and you know traders they were just trading and pumping like everyone does you know the problem is they were calling out the government essentially i think that's they just attracted a lot of attention they were the biggest they had a huge huge discord 200,000, like so many hundreds of thousands of people, right? I have students who know me because of them. I have students from them, you know, who like went in to chase alerts, got bit by the bug, then decided, hey, I'm going to figure out how to actually trade and then ended up eventually getting to me, okay? So Cavill was their pump yesterday. Let me get uh, the chat back up. Thank you, charts again. That's why. Did he pump SXTC this morning? Ah, 23 minutes ago. And, and here's the thing that you guys have to understand about this is like, there's no... So bad. That's all. all right, here's the pump this morning, 23 minutes ago. And here's the chart. Okay. It's halted. That, and here's what you have to understand. He buys it wherever he buys it. In this case, he, he's long from a buck 10, buck 11, buck 12, buck 15, buck 20. Okay. Wherever it is. Here's the volume that just came in. It's only 90,000 shares, but 90,000 was enough to make it go to 150 and halt. Let me know in chat if you understand what's happening here, okay? His DD is with Pally running hard, Sympathy Bio, that is very cheap and has a history of China running it hard. 600K float. That is all he says. But there's no volume. There's, in other words, without his tweet, it's not going anywhere. Look what these guys do. They... They do a split every, let's see, uh, February 21, May 22, October 23. Once a year, they split and pump and dump, okay? Once a year, they split, they pump and dump. They had another push here, okay? History of running. This, this is, and again, this, it just goes down to a lack of knowledge. Really, at the end of the day. 
So that's what's going on, all right? Even here, they couldn't even pump properly last time. Nice pump and dump here, but a dump, every time they gap up, they get fucked. This is going to get fucked, guys. Like... And then they'll lose efficacy and lose efficacy and lose efficacy, right? But there will be a lot of people who have no clue who's back or even who he is and are just sitting here waiting to trade SXTC. He made that happen. It's a, I love it. I love. I mean, I hate that I got to worry about it, but I don't really worry about it, okay? Because he's not trading what I trade. He's calling out random tickers. Okay? Understand that calling out random tickers. Look how much volume these guys have traded three times already. So hopefully that makes sense to y'all. Random motherfucking tickers. So there's his pump today. I don't think it will be as effective as yesterday's personally. Um, which is why yesterday he put the pump out and then immediately tried to sell started selling product which I respect. <laughs> I respect. I don't care. Follow him if you want. Do whatever you want. I, you guys, I'm not shitting on him. No need to shit on him. Um, I'd love to interview the guy one day. That'd be fun. I'm starting a long-form podcast this month where I'm doing... Um, we're filming our first episode at the end of this month and I'm getting all the best, biggest traders out. We're going to be, uh, interviewing them like Joe Rogan style. So it's going to be pretty cool. You know, I think it, a lot of the stuff is, um, really surface level. When you look at the, for me, at least when I watch trading pro podcasts, it's just the same bullshit over and over again. So I'd like to get a little bit deeper into stuff with people and, you know, kind of, uh, interview them from a different vantage point, I guess you could say, right. I don't trade anything random, you guys, right? If I don't have, you know, if it's not like something that I see gapping up in the morning and I have plans for, I, anything like midday random like this, I consider them to be uh, a pump. Like, and I, and just, especially if there's no PR, right? Sympathy bio. It's not. That's the one thing I don't miss. That's the one thing I don't miss. Is he was last as last time he was around, he was creating stupid sympathies, man. Fuck that guy. Ugh. It's just for me, I don't like having to look over my shoulder in small cap and wonder if I'm trading someone else's pump right now. You know what I mean? So It'll be easy. Won't be a big deal. We're always trading someone's pumping something somewhere. Pump a clock somewhere. Go through these tickers one more time, and then we'll get into some lessons. Pally holding up decently. Kind of stair-stepping it down for now, just kind of like creeping it down, but not much out there for me at the moment. Um... <clears throat> All right. Questions. Let's get in the straight Q&A too. Endo, I still have. 
you know, again, I mean, the way I see it right now, we've got this sort of thing going on. And we've got this sort of thing going on, right? From a price standpoint, not dead. Crushing at the moment. Um, got anyways took off 300 of the 2000 there jekylls endo bigger account Right. If you've been enjoying the stream, make sure to smash the like. We're gonna be uh if we get two hundred likes, I'll do uh I'll go live tomorrow too. Fuck it. We'll do pre market prep and uh tomorrow here on YouTube. I'm about to drop our, our beginner series though, um for you guys as well. So I've never taught the basics. I've talked about this. Never taught the basics of stock trading because it's everywhere, right? It's just like there's stuff everywhere. But now I realize, oh my God, they're not even teaching the basics right. You know how I know no one's teaching the basics right? Because when you get to me, you don't know the fucking basics still, right? You don't know the basic fundamentals. It's not hard, okay? So I'm going to be dumbing it down and doing something I've never done before and doing a whole series on YouTube just for noobs, you know? Um, and that's part of the free 30 day mentorship that we're rocking. Uh, it's 200. I don't know what it's at 300. Fuck it. Then we need two a hundred more. Sorry, y'all. That's too easy. Um, a hundred more and I'll go live tomorrow too. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start dropping smaller, uh, short actual lessons on how to trade um, the basic stuff, okay? And then we'll be able to get into a lot more detail and a lot of uh, a lot better stuff going forward beyond that, okay? Start at 7.30 a.m. I'll start earlier tomorrow. I don't care. I'm gonna start earlier tomorrow anyways because I'm sick of not having enough time to prepare for what I need to do is build this small account, right? The plan to get it over PDT and then go back down again and again.
Look at that. Bullshit, man. Unreal. That's crazy, right? 150. It opened up at 270, y'all. Right? 270. He's just picking random tickers and pumping them right now. Okay? Badass pump again. He did it again. That's amazing. That, so this to me is what's amazing, right? <laughs> is that he can do that. If I spent all my time just like trying to be an online pumper, I could do that too. Right, but that's not ever been the goal for me. Okay, because it's generally speaking illegal. But what happened was is they just beat the government. So now, oh my God, right? Forget about it. But um, there's so everyone tweets about stocks. That's my whole thing. So like, just because he has a following, what he's not allowed to tweet about it? It's illegal. Right? There are laws against stock manipulation, but whatever. Um, I, as a matter of, um, as a matter of principle, I, I'm not trading this, right? Never, ever would I do that. Never, ever, ever would I do that. Got me? If you're trading this, you're a, a do whatever the fuck you want. You're a degenerate. Which I am too. We're all degenerates. But the, if you want to get good at trading, you have to put that fucking guy on the bat. Like, you got to tuck him far away until the time is right. There is a time to YOLO. There is a time to open up and, and go all in on what you're doing and on trades for me, especially growing small accounts. There are times that, that I got to use all my buying power. There are times with my big accounts, y'all, where I want all my buying power. Where I'm using all the might of my fucking buying power, y'all. All right? So. These aren't the times for me. Right? These are not the times. I'll watch tomorrow. I'll watch tomorrow and see. Uh, I'll watch tomorrow. <clears throat> DYNT. Let's look at some individual charts now. Again, I just locked some more into Indo. Um, I'm trying to be patient. And I locked another 200 shares. So now, that's good. On is earlier on really fast. News. If you're in Canada, I'll be in Vancouver at the end of the month. Uh, running a boot camp in Vancouver. All right. Definitely try to get out to that if you're in Canada. It's been a while since I've been up there. So beyond that, we've got, um, if you want to come see me in person, I've got some boot camps after that. New York City and L.A.? New York City and LA, right? Um, they're they're game changers. I promise. Come come meet me in person. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. At least you pick something that's non dilutive right now. A lot of non dilutive pickers on. I risk. Hmm. A little bit slower this week so far. Palpably slower this week, in my opinion, and a little bit of last week too. <clears throat> in terms of percent gainers, okay? So got to keep that in mind a little bit here. Um, I think there's a I think they're like 450 bucks or 550 bucks or something like that for two full days, like literally two days and we meet the first night we all get together. Um, and I think 
I don't know, Tanner, maybe you throw a coupon code for these peeps who wants to come to Vancouver since it's such, such short notice. Or all of them, I don't care, whatever. <clears throat> okay. All right, my friends. Um, what we're going to do, because I just got a little bit of a SOS text from my wifey. Oh, really fast. Um, we're going to wrap the stream up quickly. Okay. All I've got left are a few endo shares. Um, Hub C, I still have a few. I still have a small position there, but it's stopping me out here any second, probably. And that's it for now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it back tomorrow. Does that sound good to everyone? Let me know in chat if that sounds good. I'll run it back tomorrow so that I can get to some more questions and hopefully get some live trading in what I'm trying to go for, right? Um, I'm going to build this damn live small account as quickly as I can. Creeping along. It's been a definite adjustment going from hundreds of thousands to 3,000. It's been a, certainly an adjustment size-wise, but I'm, as soon as I have this math locked, you'll see this account start to grow. And then as that grows, you'll start to see my size grow and it'll snowball. Y'all want to roll this back tomorrow or what? Oh, you don't seem that enthusiastic. Oh. Um, be here tomorrow morning, okay? Be here tomorrow morning. Um, same time, I might try to start earlier, okay? I might try to start earlier. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. Um, again, if you're not part of it, join the free mentorship that I'm running right now um, through the rest of the month of April. And you know, if you stumble across this video sometime in the future, it's gonna be on the site for you guys. It's gonna be permanently there for anyone who wants to, um, to get some of the basics down, okay? Especially. Smash the like. Love you all. Everyone stay safe. Understand there's a lot of pumps going on again. Um, things are a little bit slower, but we'll see how everything pans out for the rest of the week. I will see y'all tomorrow morning. Peace.